Okay, so look, for 100 bucks, this Xbox wireless headset is easily my default recommendation for anyone looking for a new gaming headset for the new Xbox Series S, the Series X, or even the Xbox One consoles. And that's because for this price, you're getting something that's really good all around. Build quality, sound quality, they pretty much packed everything in here for that price. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that these sound just as good as my other headsets like the SteelSeries Arctic Pro or the Odyssey Mobius headsets because it doesn't. There is definitely a drop off and sound quality, but that's also because those cost around $300, $350, so you should expect those to sound better. But I'll basically say that it equates to, like those sound like I'm in a movie theater with a really good surround sound system. And this sounds like when you have a really good sound bar in your home setup, and there's nothing wrong with that because I use a sound bar in my home setup, but hopefully that gives you a difference in the sound quality. But look, I've used this with games like Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, and I was able to hear footsteps, I was able to hear all the details, um, and the bass is actually not that bad either. Um, but one of the good things is that after you pair this with your Xbox console, which is really easy because it does have a green button that sticks up and you just press down on that for a couple of seconds. And then you go over to your Xbox and you press that little pairing button that's on the front. And in a couple of seconds, the headset is paired. But after you do that, you can use these Xbox accessories app to be able to adjust the EQ. So you can adjust some of those settings to make this sound how you want. And it also does have some different presets for different sound profiles if you like. And this does have support for different sound formats like Dolby Atmos and Windows Sonic, so you can have some of those spatial sound technologies while using this headset. So look, it sounds good, but especially for $100 headsets, I think this is the best sounding one that I've used over the past couple of years. But you know, there's one thing that this headset does better than any other gaming headset that I've ever used, and really any other headphones that I've used, and that is just the controls, because each one of the ear cups are actually individual dials. So when you put this on your head, and say you wanna adjust the game and chat audio on the left ear cup, that will handle that. So when I twist it up towards the sky, that will kind of favor the audio coming from the game. But then when I twist it back down towards the ground, that will favor the audio coming from the chat audio. So it does have a midway point though, so I can easily find a really good balance between the two. And then just adjusting the overall volume. So no matter if you're watching a movie, watching a YouTube video or playing a game, the right ear cup will allow you just to turn it all the way up or turn it all the way down just by twisting. And so I'm gonna say it right now, I'm demanding that every single gaming headset manufacturer adopt this type of controls because I'm so sick of trying to figure out which button or dial or something that's on my ear cup, no matter how long I've been using the headset, I always mess it up. So this just make it just really simple. Now, as far as how these feel on your head, they are comfortable and the ear cups are really soft and very tender around your ears. So they're gonna you know, cover up your entire ear and give you a little bit of noise cancellation there. Um, but yeah, they definitely feel comfortable to wear for a long period of time. Now I do wish that the headband itself, while it is comfortable, I wish they would have adopted uh, what some other gaming headsets like this Arctix Pro have, where it's basically like this kind of hammock right here that allows you to be able to just place this on your head and your head really never comes in contact with the headband. So when I put this on, you can see that I do have a gap here at the top and that just makes it feels like I'm really not wearing anything as far as the pressure on the top of my head. So look, I don't know if that costs more money or whatever, but hopefully in the next version, they will adopt something like that. Oh, and I don't remember if I mentioned this in the beginning, but this headset is also Bluetooth compatible. So you can pair this via Bluetooth to your laptop, to your computer, and be able to use this to listen to some good tunes or watch a movie. Uh, and you can also pair this with your smartphone. And the good thing about that is that when you do get a phone call, you can use the headset and the microphone to be able to take that phone call. And you should know that you can also connect this headset to your computer using the Xbox wireless adapter or using the USB-C port on this headset that's not only used for charging, but you can also plug it into your your computer but you might want to use another cable because the one that comes in the box is really short and there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on this headset so you're out of luck with that then you also have the convenience of when you power on the headset it will also automatically power on the Xbox. So you have two things going on at once and that will allow you to get to gaming as fast as possible. And oh, when it comes to battery life, this headset is rated up to around 15 hours or so. So I didn't sit there and do a marathon 15 hour session, uh, but I was able to game with this for maybe about three days before I needed to put it back on the charger for a few hours per day. Now, the good thing is that if you do pick this headset up and it is like 0%, it will only take you 30 minutes to get up to around four hours of playtime with this. Um, but also too, if you want to get from zero to 100%, um, it will take you around three hours of charging.
And okay, so now let's talk about the microphone quality. So the first thing you can see is that the microphone is pretty short. It doesn't like sit in front of your mouth like other headsets, but it still picks up my voice pretty nicely. It sounds a little hollow compared to some of my more expensive headsets, but I think overall it is good. And surprisingly for how short the microphone is, I can still see the little indicator light on it to let me know whether or not my microphone is on or off. And you can also adjust the brightness for this microphone light in the Xbox accessories app. And also on the stem for the microphone, you do have a dedicated mute on and off button. And in this app, you can also adjust the microphone monitoring. So when you are speaking, you can hear yourself play back in the headset. So you can make sure you're not talking too loud or too soft. And then also too, it does have a cool feature where the microphone will only transmit audio when you are speaking. So if you are a button masher on your controller or on the keyboard, this will help keep your teammates from hearing all of that button mashing and only hear you when you are trying to speak. And I did a test run at Apex and my teammates did say they heard it a couple of times, but for the most part, they didn't hear me when I was using my keyboard or my controller. But back to the most important thing, and that's just how this microphone sounds. So let me know down in the comments what you think about the microphone quality. And so wrapping up here, this is a very easy recommendation as I mentioned in the beginning. For a hundred bucks, they're at a price point that makes it very hard to recommend anything else because of the great compatibility and you know it's just going to work with your Xbox or your Windows PC. And then also too, the controls are great. The sound quality is definitely good enough um, and the build quality feels like it's gonna be something that can take a beating. And it's one of those kind of impulse buys where you're at checkout and you see that little add-on thing. This is one of those that I can definitely say you're not gonna be disappointed with if you do choose to add this on. So yeah, it gets my seal of approval, but what do you think about this Xbox wireless headset? Leave your comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to, but like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.